and it is far too early. It's currently quarter to nine in the morning and I want to say I had like one of those rubbish sleeps where you are like wide awake the whole night basically and every time you wake up your eyes are like bing I'm awake. Um, I think just because obviously I'm used to being awake during the night with my night shifts and stuff. Um, but I don't know what it is, but every time I woke up in the middle of the night, I was wide awake. And then when it was actually time to get up this morning, I couldn't even get up. So the girls have been out and they are ready to go. Today is Roxy's x-ray day. Yes, I'm very nervous. I thought I would take you with me on my day and we are going to spend the day over at my mum's with little Misty and Pixie while Roxy is in getting her x-ray. Now Pixie is refusing point blank to even eat her breakfast this morning. I think because Roxy hasn't had her breakfast this morning, obviously she can't because she's going under anaesthetic. Aren't you ladies? Pixie, you not having your dinner? Well your breakfast, but I call it dinner. Are you not having your dinner? Hello? Are you ignoring me? Am I talking to a brick wall? I know you can hear me. Pixie? Pixie? <gasps> Total rubber eared. Roxy. Roxy. And Roxy's in a huff because I'm sending her away for an x-ray and I've not gave her dinner. So she's not speaking to me this morning. Are you? Mm. Are you not speaking to me this morning? I took you out a nice walk in the park. Is it because I've not given you any dinner? Oh well, that'll be going away then. Pixie, are you going to get your dinner? Right, let's go get your dinner then. Pixie, come and get your dinner, hurry up. No, 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 it's not for you. Not for you, come here. Come here. Roxy, don't you dare. You're not allowed that. Pixie, come on, dear. Time is of the essence. If you don't eat it now, you'll not get anything till dinner time. Come on, hurry up.
is currently about half past nine, quarter to ten at night for all I know. I haven't even got my phone with me. I don't know where it is right now. Bonk. But I thought I would jump on and let you guys know how Roxy got on at the vet today. Now, excuse me, I am in my onesie. This is chill out time. I have poured myself a glass of wine and I have my candle lit and I am ready to chill out and jump under these sheets once I've finished this video. Okay, so Roxy went into the vet at around 10 o'clock this morning and I didn't receive a phone call until about one o'clock. Now I was in the vet for about half an hour just giving information on how she's been in the last two weeks. So with given how she has been in the last two weeks I wouldn't say there was much of a difference. I would say that the amount of whinging around the living room has minimised but I wouldn't say that the back problem had completely went away. Um, so a couple of new things of information I had gave the vet yesterday I had noticed it was that she was walking down the stairs on three legs instead of four. She decided to lift her back left leg up while walking down the stairs. Whether that's a coincidence or not, I don't know. But um, it's the kind of first I've seen her do that properly. Um, as well, she sits in a kind of bottoms up position and she was doing it while we were in at the vet going over things and I had mentioned it to him and I said you know she does this often not all the time but often is that normal and he went what and I'm like oh here we go another problem so basically that is not normal that is basically a sign of her being in discomfort or you know obviously things to do with her back that kind of thing so in the consultation today we went over what was going to happen the x-ray um, the anaesthetic how long she was going to be what he was going to be looking at you know certain sections of the spine the hips the legs that kind of thing just basically the whole back end and he also wanted to do some bloods now he asked me when was the last time she had a blood test? And I'm like, eh, never. So she ended up getting some bloods done as well. Now, I got a phone call at about half past 12, one o'clock, and he kind of went over what he found in the x-ray. I was listening, but I don't think my brain was taking in what he was saying. I think there was just so much information overload and like that. I really don't know what you're talking about. So once the conversation had ended, I had hung up, I phoned my mum because she was at my grand's and obviously myself and Pixie had say, spent the day with Misty and phoned her and then I phoned Jamie and he's obviously working so he managed to phone back and I went over things and he was just like, what, so is this, he was, he was just trying to get to grips with things and asking a lot of questions that uh, I didn't really know the answer to and I would find out more obviously uh, when we made the appointment later on in the day to go and pick her up. So that was fine. So obviously that was like a really long afternoon until I got to go and pick her up. Um, we went to the vet about half past three in the afternoon to go and collect her and bring her home. What the vet had said was that he basically showed me the x-ray. Now the blood work all came back fine but the x-ray did show something and in a way I'm glad it's not a major thing that we need to deal with right now but later on down the line it might progress and be a bit of an issue. So he showed me all the areas of the spine. So I'm trying to explain it. I'm probably not explaining it right at all. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, but the spine did show some abnormalities. That's the word I'm looking for. So the spine did so. So the spine sh did. Sh oh, can you speak? I've not even touched that yet, by the way, guys. <laughs> the spine did show some abnormalities, and so does the pelvic area. So he is basically diagnosed her with the early onset of arthritis in the lower spine 
and the pelvic area. Now, as much as I've had time to digest this in, I am still trying to get to grips with it and I know it's not a big thing. Well, people might think it's not a big thing, but she's such a massive part in my life and Jamie's life and I'm going to get all emotional in a minute. I mean, for God's sake, it's arthritis and it's just the start of it. <laughs> um, yep, so she is such a massive part of our lives that any condition or any illness I think she had got, I would basically be emotional and sad no matter what it is, if it was something minor or major. Because since, n until now, there's been nothing confirmed and now that she has a condition, we are going to have to live with it. We are going to have to persevere with it because it's a condition that is not going to go away. It's only going to gradually get worse um, as her years go on. And unfortunately, given the job that I do working and caring for the elderly, I have seen how arthritis works and how it makes people immobile. And God forbid, but you know, obviously I'm aware that that might be the stage later on down the line in many years to come. Hopefully it won't, touch wood, it won't be, but it is a possibility. But for just now, it is the early onset of arthritis and um, there is minor changes in her structure, which can change in time. So, given the information that he gave us um, with regards to the X-ray, you know, it's an issue that's never going to go away. We are going to have to manage this. So, the advice that we were given, and I had to write things down, and I've literally written it on the back of my pet plan book, just because there was so much going through my head at the one time. Um, he basically said that she's not at the stage where she needs morphine and strong painkillers, which is good. Um, obviously I'm aware that it might come to that stage um, later on down the line. So the information that he gave us was that we have to basically have lifestyle changes and with those lifestyle changes we have to keep that going. It needs to be ongoing for it to take effect really um, and for us to maintain her condition as it is at the moment. So we have to have reduced activity, which means she can't run about off the lead um, excessively with Pixie because I've obviously I've shown in previous videos that she goes absolutely crazy walk, like running about chasing Pixie and the two of them have a wee rough and tumble and they absolutely love it and she loves being off lead because she gets to run and go free and that is putting strain on her back legs and her pelvic area so we have to try and stop that for just now. Um, we have to give her three 20 minute walks a day, nothing really too excessive. So usually when I go out a day I can spend hours at Troon and we can walk for a while um, but I'm going to have to cut this down to about 20 minutes. Some days she doesn't even get three sets of 20 minute walks. Some days myself and Jamie are both working and all they get is out the back garden. I do try and take them to the park at least once a day. Obviously because the summer weather's coming in, I take them out to the park for a walk at night when I finish work because it's light enough and I can't be bothered waiting out the back door forever for them to go to the toilet. So I'll just take them to the park. So we have to have reduced activity. Uh, we have to have no jumping which is a nightmare because obviously she likes to jump up in the sofa in the bed. Now, what he did say was that our sofa and our bed is low down, so there's not really a concern. We have to basically minimise the strain that she's putting on her back legs and her pelvic area. So, he basically advised us to create Roxy um, and keep her in a crate which is not really an option. Um, that's not what we set the den up for. That is 
we set the den up for a safe place for her to go. It's not a place for her to get locked into all day while me and Jamie are working and for Pixie to roam about free and enjoy herself while Roxy's locked in a prison. That is not an option and I said that to the vet and given the state that she is with her anxiety in here that it is not an option for her to be locked in um, during the day when we are not there because obviously Pixie and Roxy like a wee kind of rough and tumble and a play around and a run around and they get quite frantic um, that can't happen either um, but obviously when I'm working I don't know what's happening in the flat in the living room when we are not there hence why we have a camera but we can't be on that 24 7 um, watching what they get up to um, there isn't that much room to move in the living room or run around excessively in the living room so um, that's really the only thing we're not going to do we are not creating Roxy as the vet advised we are not doing it um, it's just not an option and that's what Jamie that's the first thing Jamie said as well no I'm not doing that that's not an option and I fully understand and I fully agree with them and I sure I'm pretty sure you as well as well um, the in terms of jumping up on the sofa um, it's still a bit of a height it's not tall it's not like high high up but it is high enough for her to put strain on her back legs. We're going to need to try and overcome that somehow. Um, I don't really know how or if we put like cushions or something along the bottom of the sofa so that she's got a wee bit more height to get up onto. I really don't know. Um, what else? Yes, we stay up three flights of stairs, so we have not to have her walk up and down the stairs. We have to carry her up and down the stairs. Basically anything that minimises putting strain on her back or her back legs or um, hip or pelvic area, we have to give her complete rest. She's currently sleeping over there just now from the anaesthetic. She's so tired. Um, so what else have we to do? Um, so reduced activity, no jumping, lift up the stairs, down the stairs, stay on the lead at all times, um, no rough play. Um, we have also to maintain her weight. So she's currently 7.8 kilograms, which is an okay weight. I think anything over would be a bit of an issue. So we need to um, maintain that as it is or lose a wee bit. She's been as low as 7.6, 7. 6, 7 Five. I think I would be happy between 7.5 and 7.8 so if she loses a wee bit more it's not a big deal but she cannot gain any because that's obviously going to put pressure on her joints um, and given the food that she's on because that's something that Jamie asked and it's something that I never even asked of it was like joint supplements um, like glucosamine and MSM or whatever it's called but that's actually in with their diet so that's in with their dry food so I think giving them extra unless the vet tells me to you know I wouldn't really likely bother with. So he's wanting to take over her care which means she's going to have continuity and it's a big word and a word I use a lot in work myself is continuity of care so anytime we go to the vet it is him we see nobody else. So with that, he will be able to see if there is any progress or any decline, um, if we need to do anything else, try a different treatment or something like that, we'll try. So we have to ch do the lifestyle changes and we have also to continue on the Medicam medication until further notice really. So what he's basically said is continue on this and instead of giving seven, she's now getting 7.5, I think just obviously due to her weight. Um, her weight has went up, I think a pound or two in the last, um, the last two weeks, which isn't really good because obviously it's increasing and it's not staying the same. Need to watch out and stop all the treats, Roxy. Mm -hmm. Stop all the biscuits. Yes, you heard the word. We have to go back in two weeks to review the changes that we've made and the medication. He's hoping that within two weeks, with the changes, that he can reduce the Medicam down further um, to, I don't know if it's going to be half or quarter or whatever, I don't know. But it's going to be reduced down, hopefully, if there's a change. If not, then we could be looking at 
staying on this further. Last time I went to the vet, he gave me a 10ml bottle, which only really lasted two weeks. He's now gave me a 32ml bottle, so it's three times as much. So that should last me about six weeks. Um, so is to possibly reduce that down after two weeks and with the, the lifestyle changes. But I know there is that possibility where there might not be any change and we need to carry it on. But if all going well, then the medication can be reduced down. We carry on with the lifestyle changes, continue as we are. And then we'll go back to the vet again in another couple of weeks time. And he will hopefully... His aim is to get her off the Medicam um, and obviously given with the lifestyle changes that is enough um, basically to minimise the risk of strain and getting things, uh, get, making things worse. I think because we've been letting her run around ragged, play with Pixie, run up and down the stairs into the park there is a lot of strain there so if we stop that then the strain and the pain I think is going to reduce which means that we might not need the medication so that's the kind of aim that we're kind of heading in um, at the end of the day arthritis is something that you cannot get rid of it is there and it's there for life and the fact that she's like this on onset arthritis like the start of arthritis makes me think what she's going to be like you know full-blown arthritis if it ever gets to that stage like what's she going to be like like i think that will probably end up being like and i know it's silly to say but when she's older and she's at that age where she is reaching the end of her life i think it's going to be the arthritis that does it really um you know arthritis is such a nasty thing to have it's horrible and it's painful it really is painful i mean i don't know i've never had it i don't know what it feels like but i watch people that do have it and i care for people that have it and that's people that's adults that's not animals so I really can't imagine um, what it is like but I thought I would just update you guys. Um, I am obviously saddened that she has this condition now but in a way I am relieved that I know what is wrong with her and that we can basically do what we can to help um, the condition and obviously maintain the condition to what it is just now um, it's going to take me a wee while to get my head around it and I do need to do some research on it because it's something that I never really thought to look up at such a young age of three years old um, I wasn't expecting her to have arthritis at this age so I need to do some research as well we are going to change a part of the den you've seen the bed that was in the den it was just a normal pets at home den my battery is flashing so it might conk out at any minute but um, we are looking into an orthopedic memory foam mattress just so it obviously helps support her joints and we're just trying to do everything that we can now to basically help and promote maintaining this condition um, so we're probably going to look more into that tomorrow I have seen a orthopedic memory foam mattress it is really expensive but it is probably the best of the best um, and we will do we will look into that now unfortunately I just got rid of our big square bed you know the big square one that we had before we even had the den down um, it was an orthopedic um, mattress and I gave that away to my friend the other night because obviously it didn't fit in the crate and you know it's just one of those things it didn't fit in the crate anyway and before when we had the last crate we had a memory foam mattress in it as well it's just one of those things you just you make mistakes and you just think well you learn from your mistakes so we are probably going to be buying another orthopedic memory foam mattress because it probably would be beneficial for her are you okay do you have arthritis mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she's still a bit kind of dopey from the anesthetics she's done nothing but sleep 
all day really um, and she has a slightly shaved leg where she got her blood done um, and where the anaesthetic went in but you're all right you'll be fine won't you we just need to take every day as it comes and just go on with it and just try and relax and get small exercise and be careful won't we mm -hmm. which means no running about with your sister no crazy crazy in the living room and no darting about outside basically taking all the fun away that's what it is i mean she's so happy when she's off the lead it's it's going to be heartbreaking just having her basically like oh, oh it's honestly going to be heartbreaking just having her walk so slow beside me because at the moment i take that lead off she's so excited that she just wants to run around and play and be happy and be free and not be restricted to a lead and i think that's what's going to like be really hard to see is to basically not have that and um, I, I don't really like that but it needs to happen. But that is us so that is the update so far obviously there is going to be ongoing appointments ongoing follow-ups which I will keep you guys informed on at every time and um, I'll obviously let you guys know I've got a really I think I've got a hair up my nose or something like that my nose is really itchy um, I will let you guys know when we get this bed and I'll obviously do a review and let you guys know what the bed is like. It's a bit of a, a, a kick in the teeth really with regards to this arthritis but I'm just so glad it's nothing major that we have to basically make drastic decisions on right now. Um, it's obviously just going to be a slow deterioration um, and that's it really. So we just have to suck it up and go on with it as my old work colleague used to say suck it up cupcake um i just have to suck it up it is what it is and i just have to deal with it so that is us so thank you very much you guys for watching this video give us a thumbs up if you like this video or just give us a thumbs up because it's not obviously a video that you want to say oh i like that because she's got arthritis i am away to chill out have my wine Enjoy my candlelight, sit with the dogs and basically cuddle into them and fall asleep myself probably. So thank you very much you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Good night guys.